Hey guys, Wildox Studios here, and today I'm going to be answering a question that was asked in um, the Wildox Studios Discord about being able to detect multiple input types. Um, so we'll just jump right into that. Um, this specifically has to do with the Couch Co op local ma uh, multiplayer template, so we'll just create a project. Um, I am going to use uh, the latest, um, it doesn't really matter what version of UE5 you're on, just keep in consideration there is a bug with the skip player index for previous UE5 versions. That doesn't impact the scope of this video because in this situation you wouldn't skip the first player. Um, you would be able to control either the uh, with the keyboard and mouse or the player controller. This is the logic that would allow you to detect a difference and then display like press enter or press press start based on that input type so just you know um stick along for the ride and hopefully we'll be able to answer some uh some questions surrounding um all of this so we'll just create cclm here and we'll open this guy up and the first thing that you're going to want to do um, is enable uh, a plugin that works with enhanced input systems. Um, the old way of doing this in UE4 would be to detect like any key, but because enhanced input system uses input context, it's a little different. Um, they they do have a plugin that helps with this. Um, it's the um, Common UI, I believe plugin yeah um it's in beta but i can tell you at least from within the scope of what we're trying to do here it's it doesn't have any problems um we'll start restart now and this is <laughs> gonna be a pretty short and sweet video it, it doesn't take a lot to get this work in so in the ui you'll go down to the start play UI, which is a child of the select. So like if we hit start here, you'll see there's a press enter for player one. Um, and if I was to press start, I would go on the controller, which I already have turned on, it would pop up for player two, right? So that is because by default in your project settings, we have skip player one enabled. Um, this is the thing that's been bugged but it does work in UE5 4. You just uncheck this and now player one will actually be both the keyboard and mouse. Initially, if I hit enter here, it'll pop up. If I hit escape, hit play again. If I hit start on the controller, it'll pop up. But what you'll notice is press enter is still on the screen, not press start. So we wanna change this um, so that if any input is detected from a controller, that wording updates. So we'll double click this widget and we'll get into the widget logic. Um, over here, you'll see there's a press enter. It's just typed into this text column for that element. We'll wanna create a binding here. And then right here, what we'll do is we'll get the player controller for index zero right here. And then we'll get that common um, input subsystem and then from here, we'll get the input type. And then we'll do a select on this. And for each one of these wildcard types, it's like, hey, this is the type index. You tell me what you want to go into the wildcard return. So you need to pin this return value into the text field. Um, not like that. I don't know what just happened. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, and then now when it detects one of these types, it's going to pass the string value that you want. So in the gamepad, we're going to say P1 dash press start because that's what we're doing for all the other ones. If it's a mouse and keyboard, we're going to do P1 dash press enter. And this keeps everything in line with how it was previously. We don't have to handle touch and count right now, but if we go back and we hit play, you'll see it says press enter but if i was to touch anything on my controller at all it changes to press start 
So hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Um, you can use this all over the place. Like if we go back to a, a keyboard and mouse, like if I was to come here, you'll see it changes to press enter. Um, just from me typing or pressing something on my keyboard. But thanks for being Patreons, you guys rock. Thanks for being a member of the Wild Ox Studios Discord and keep those video ideas coming. Until next time, happy developing and toodles.